Well, hello there, folks, and welcome to another edition of the BRO Reloading Bench. Today, I'm going to walk you through that triple alt load that I had that I demonstrated down at the range the other day as opposed to the Remington Express. The triple alt load works really, really good. And I think down there at the range, we shot the triple alt had 35 grains of RMR Blue. We can also use 30 grains of Hodgdon Long Shot. I'm going to demonstrate that in the video today, guys. Stand by. Okay, I'm going to get the uh, Hornady set up, three, zero, and zero to get past the decimal, Spence, and she will go. And uh, like I said, the long shot is a really dense, like a metal flake powder, so it's heavy. So I slow that machine, I put it on slow. Uh, on its slower speed so that I don't get many overcharges whenever that happens. On normal speed, you'll get some overcharges. All right. And like I told you in the quad video, a lot of guys are having trouble finding the once-fired 3-inch Magnum hulls. Ballistic Products has got tons of brand new hulls. Not only in the Chidite. I like the Chidite because these are clear. And uh, in the demo purposes with YouTube's policies, Maybe we're going to be okay with uh, with most of the reloading videos. Um, I'm not really that trusting of YouTube yet, so all of that, most all of that stuff is going to be right here on Patreon. So uh, let's get this triple alt load put together here. It is a ch brand new Chidite primed clear hull, and they come in multiple colors. The colors don't matter; they're the same hull. They've also got. Let me see. I think I had a few. Yeah, Rio. They've got brand new Rio primed holes, Fiocchi primed holes. They've got brand new Federal primed holes, and I believe that's about it uh, as far as what Ballistic Products has available with the brand new 3-inch holes. All right. Now, where were we? Okay, I'm getting my phone. 30 grains of Hodgson Long Shot. Get that in our hole here zeros it'll dispense another load okay x12x quarter inch seal along with the fx12 half inch fiber wide the regular fiber i think it's the uh fc fiber cushion wide fc12 not sure but it's something very similar to that if you do a search for the 12 gauge half inch fiber wads it'll list all the, the different ones they've got they've got some hard waxed this is like a soft wax uh, and then no wax whatsoever on the fiber wad all right let's get this seal and the FX12 and like I said I try to put about 20 25 pounds of pressure See it in there pretty good, I hope. All right, now we got some. We were working on powder coating up some more triple alt today. We need 10 pellets, they don't have to be powder coated. I like powder coating mine uh, because it puts a jacket on these things and, and, and it helps. I think it helps with the aerodynamics of the pellet as well as helps it stay round because it, in, it gives a, uh, an increased hardness on the outside of these pellets. They've, the triple alts fall in here really, really pretty. Stack them in here by twos. That's four, six, eight, and ten. See, that's what's so cool about these clear holes. If you, if you kind of messed up or forgot to put a note on them and didn't really know what it was, you can look at the, uh, just look at that clear hole and see what's inside. All right, we're going to cover these with 
with the Ballistic Products Original buffer. And it, it flows in around these powder coated pellets really, really nice. And I completely cover them. I think it's a, a full 3.4, a 3.7 dipper. What is that? 3.4 dipper, pretty much a full dipper. And sometimes I put just a little bit more over it with this, especially using the long shot powder to keep the overcrimp from going in so bad. That don't look bad at all. Because it ain't. That's good. For the long shot load, that's pretty much what it looks like. 30 grains of long shot works great in this triple alt load. The 35 grains of IMR blue, 34 grains of Alliant blue dot, 27 grains of 800X. Also works really, really well in this load. I'm going to make a note on it, guys. You've already seen how they shoot. Boy, do they shoot good out of my stoker. But that's how I put them together right there, guys. This is Wade Rush. Another episode from the BRO Reloading Bench. We'll be back with another one very, very soon. Bye-bye.